In this video, we're going to show you how to replace your board sensor. The board sensor is located on the bottom of the Y truck here. It's got two screws to the left and right. And you can see the sensor here, there's a little window. And a lot of times that'll get clogged with dust or covered with dust, and you'll get low board sensor readings. You see in our documentation about how to clean it. Simply take some compressed air and blow across that. Usually, that will solve your low board sensor readings. If it doesn't, we'll have to remove it. And you'll need a very short screwdriver to get in there and take those screws out. You want to make sure that your head is cranked all the way up. Remove the screws. I like to get a good angle on it from the bottom. People also will use a mirror to do it as well. you don't drop the screws down into your machine. And the sensor will drop down about a half of an inch exposing the connector. So gently pull on the connector moving the body back and forth. So you can see the difference between a dirty one here with dust that's behind the lens and a clean one here. So if you can't blow out the dust from behind the lens, we'll have to replace the, the sensor. Okay, in order to replace the sensor, we're going to have to plug it in first. Don't have a lot to work with and you don't want to pull really hard on that. You can see the two ribs here, those ribs must face out, so go in the, the uh, slot for the ribs. This takes a little bit of finesse. I'm going to make sure that that's seated all the way down in there. So once we have it plugged in, we're going to have to get it set back into its spot. For that I'm going to use a mirror so I can see exactly what's going on as I push it up. The thing we want to avoid is getting a wire pinched. So once we have it plugged back in, we're going to want to slot the sensor back into the volume. And as you can see here, there's a cutout on the back of the Y truck. There's also a, a lip here that we're going to want to sit down into to seal it against dust. So the biggest concern we have is making sure all of those wires get packed back in. None are sticking out. I like to push the wires back in before I slide it up. Take the sensor. Again, it takes a little bit of finesse, especially when you're looking in a mirror, to get it set back in there. Once you get it set back in there, look up in this area and make sure none of the wires are sticking out. So in this case, we got it set back in there nice and easy, and there's no wire sticking out. So we're ready to replace the screws. It's very important that you get a screwdriver with a magnetic tip 